A few days ago, I put out a poll, and it looks like I have a different feeling on this subject than most. The poll asked, are there any scenarios where you would approve of your country using chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons in a future conflict? And if yes, what would those be? As of August 23rd, 37% said yes, 49% said no, and 14% left no opinion. For that 14%, I tend to be of the mindset that not everybody has to have an opinion on everything, so wanted to leave some room for that sentiment. And I intentionally mentioned future conflict in the poll because I didn't want this to turn into a debate about the use of atomic weapons during World War II, but that might be a good topic for a future poll. For starters, I completely understand the near 50% that said there's never a time or a place for weapons of mass destruction. To me, that shows optimism in our fellow man. It's a place I want to be, but unfortunately on this subject, I'm a little more pessimistic. To be fair, a lot of the folks that answered yes commented that they were strongly against any idea of first use and laid out pretty specific doomsday type scenarios, including aliens, that would have to be playing out. If you wanna check out some of those comments, I'll put a link to the community tab where all of the polls sit in the video description below. Anyways, that tends to be where I fall. Strongly against the idea of first use when it comes to WMDs, I even think there's some situations where meeting a chemical, biological, or nuclear attack with a conventional response is the preferred option. But I can envision a situation where my home, my family, my country is at risk of falling, and in that case, I would want everything available at my disposal. And look, I know that's selfish and potentially narrow-minded. For me, at least, this might be more of an emotional topic than rational. Russia actually has something kind of similar to this idea in their nuclear doctrine, and I've called it out before. In summary, they reserve the right to use nuclear weapons if the existence of their state is threatened. My critique of that is who exactly gets to make that determination. It's not like we all sit around together and vote. So I know my saying that I would like that same flexibility is a little hypocritical. You're right. I don't know exactly how to square that. The more I think about this specific question, the more I realize I could probably be swayed on my beliefs of when and how these weapons should be used. I mean, the use of a tactical nuke at a remote military facility feels a lot different than a biological attack on a city center. But for now, at least, I'm in a camp where as awful as these weapons are, there might be a time in the future where it's worth having them as an option. It's weird, that's how I feel, but I don't feel good saying it, if that makes sense. I mean, I genuinely hope there is never again a scenario where any chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons are even in the conversation, but I guess there's a reason that these weapons are so controversial. Thank you to everyone who voted and commented on the poll. These are topics I love diving into. If you have ideas for future polls or discussions, throw them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe as that helps the channel to reach more viewers. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.